areas and preach uh, in, in, uh, in, in, in uh, Limestone, in Greene County, whatever county this is, in Tennessee, in the United States, and into all the world is what we need to be missionaries. We're all missionaries doing something for the Lord. Paul and Barnabas learned that certain Jews had come from Jerusalem teaching that the Gentiles were saved. They had uh, subscribed, they said, to the law of Moses, including circumcision. Uh, they was not what, this was not what God revealed to Paul and to Peter in, in uh, Cornelius' house. This was not what Paul and Barnabas had preached. This was not what the Gentiles in Antioch believed, but they were certain came down and said, you may be saved and you may believe in Jesus Christ, but you're not fully saved because you have not been circumcised. They tried to bring the law back in. Now, we've got to realize this group of people is living in a very difficult time. They had been brought up under the law, believing the Old Testament, believing the circumcision, believing in the sacrifice, believing in, 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 in what they had to do. But Paul's saying, you don't need none of that. Remember, Peter had that great sheet fall down, uh, like for, bound to four corners and had all of these unclean animals in it. And he told him to eat. And he said, I don't eat nothing unclean. Peter even said that because he didn't believe that but he was told and showed that you do the, you don't worry boy you can eat pig now but under the law you couldn't eat pig but he's just saying there's nothing unclean there's nothing unclean between the Jew the Samaritan and, and, the, and the Gentiles they're all the same we're going to see in this lesson that all are the same God has no respect to person we need not to have any respect to person. A person is a person is a person. They might be a different color, but listen, I'm different than, than a lot of you. I can sit down every day and eat a bologna sandwich and, a, and, 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 and soup beans. Maybe you can't do that. I can. I'm not allowed to, but I, I, can, I can live on bologna and soup beans. I talk a little different than you. I act a little different than you. You do the same. But do I not loaf with you and do I not worship with you because you don't do like me? No. We all serve the same God. We are all different, different people. And that's what makes it so good. We're all different people making up one congregation, serving the same God and worshiping him the same way. And brother, thank God, that's what Paul's trying to say in this lesson right here. Let me quickly, I've got just about 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes. <coughs> uh, let's see where I want to start. To missionaries, uh, they, they give a report of what took place. Uh, between uh, uh, chapter 15 is basically uh, uh, bringing them up to date uh, on what went on on the first missionary journey and the, preparing them in the latter part of 15 uh, to go into a, uh, the next missionary journey. But look at this verse 1. And certain men which came down to, Jer to Judea taught the brethren and said, except ye be circumcised after the matter of Moses, you cannot be saved. Look over in a couple verses, Ephesians chapter 2, verse number 8 and 9. Ephesians 2, verse 8 and 9. And he said this, he said, For by grace are you saved through faith, not, not of thyself, not of yourself. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. It's faith in Jesus Christ, Coming to him and repenting of your sin, there is no circumcision required. There is no law under the, under the law of Moses. Uh, Jesus said uh, uh, the first commandment is to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. The second is like and unto the first, that you love, you love your neighbor as yourself. And if you lo study the, 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 the Ten Commandments, uh, the first, uh, what is it, the first four commandments uh, is the commandment commandments to God, the, set, the last six is all commandments to your neighbor. So Jesus put them all in one package and uh, the law of the love God and the love your neighbor and the forget about the Ten Commandments. We don't live, there's none of us that can live all the Ten Commandments. Amen? We can't. 
No matter what. But brother, we can live under the law and we under, the, under grace. Again, he said, for by grace are you saved through faith, not of yourself, it is a gift of God. In that chapter 2 and verse 5, he said, even when we were dead in sin, which quickened us together with Christ, by grace ye are saved. Look what he says over in Peter chapter 1. I think where it's at, and verse uh, 18 and 19. He said, forth, with, forth for as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed the corruptible and uh, corruptible things as silver and gold from vain conversation received by tradition of your father. In other words, you were not saved because you're rich. You were not saved with, with your traditions. You were not saved because of these, but with the precious blood of Christ as a lamb without blemish and without spot. Thank God today we're saved through the blood of Jesus. Not the blood of a bull, the blood of a, of a heifer, or the blood of a, do, of a mule, the blood of a pigeon, but we are saved as John the Baptist said behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world that's how we're saved forget about what they're saying here's what Paul's is saying we are not saved that way verse 2 he said were therefore Paul and Barnabas had no small dis dissension and disputation uh, with them they determined that Paul and Barnabas and certain others of them should go to Jerusalem and to, with, um, to the apostles and elders about the question and we can see there that they went and they reported to the mission to, the, to them what they had done. They then were missionaries. I want to point that out uh, down in verse number seven and when they had been much disputing, disputing, Peter rose up and said unto them, Men and brethren, ye know how that a good while ago God made choice among us that the Gentiles by my mouth should hear the word of the gospel and believe, and God which knoweth the heart bear them witness, giving them the Holy Ghost, even as he did unto us. And But he said, and put no difference between us and them. Uh, and now therefore, why tempt ye God uh, to put a yoke upon the neck of the disciples, which ne neither our father nor we should be should bear other words don't put the yoke upon us and tell us that we can be saved without the that we've got to come and be circumcised we are not saved that way we don't know jesus that way we come to jesus again through the blood i want to think about uh, uh, the gospel it's a universal thing it's not the law it's the gospel and i see him lined up outside Read the rest of that chapter. There's a lot of good in there. The rest of the whole book of Acts is a chapter a week. So you won't have to hear me go through three like I did here today. I don't like to do that. But I, th I wanted to, to let you know where we're at. Any questions? Boy, I like being good like that. Nobody has anything to ask. <laughs> Thank you for bearing with me, okay? Thank you. Father, we thank you now for this class. We thank you, dear Lord, for what we've looked at and, Lord, how that you bared. Lord, we thank you today that uh, as we look at these men's lives, what they've done, and, Lord, thank you for, for living, giving us what we've got. Bless now down through the rest of this service. We pray, Lord, that you'll bless the song. Lord, that you'll just give the song leader the songs this morning that we need that will stir our heart. Lord, that you'll bless our pastor, Lord. Put the words upon his lips and let the Holy Spirit be here among us in a very great way. As, uh, Lord, with great joy and great, and be, let us let the Holy Spirit flow among us today, we pray in Jesus' name and amen. Thank you.